in brightest day, in blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. He's known as the greatest Green Lantern. This is Green Lantern Explained, Hal Jordan. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comedian TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Introduced in showcase number 22 in October of 1959, Harold Hal Jordan is the first human to be inducted into the Green Lantern Corps and patrols Sector 2814 of the universe. Born in Coast City, California to Martin and Jessica Jordan with brothers Jack and Jim, Hal faced his worst fear at a young age when he watched as his father, who was a test pilot, die in a plane crash. Against his family's wishes, years later, a grown Hal Jordan joined the United States Air Force. After leaving the Air Force, Hal again followed in his father's footsteps by joining Ferris Aircraft as a test pilot while also pursuing his boss and childhood friend Carol Ferris. Now, something you need to know about Carol is that she and Hal have an on-again, off-again relationship. In fact, at one point, she thought Hal was going to propose to her, but in fact, he actually needed her to co-sign on a loan for him. It was after this that she developed a relationship with Hal's Green Lantern successor, Kyle Rayner, but we'll dive more into that in their respective videos. While on patrol, Abin Sur was attacked and pursued by the being known as Legion while on its way to Oa, badly injured, and with his spaceship seriously damaged, he made an emergency landing on the nearest habitable planet, which was Earth, and began using his power ring to search for a successor to wield the ring after he passed on. His ring detected two suitable successors, Hal Jordan and Guy Gardner. Due to being closer to the crash, the ring chose Hal Jordan as the most suitable replacement right before his death. The reason Hal was closer, however, was due to a time-traveling Booster Gold convincing Guy to visit his dying father to ensure that Hal is chosen over Guy. After this, Jordan was trained by the Green Lantern Corps' drill instructor, Kilowog, and then partnered with Sinestro, a veteran corpsman who was married to Avan Sur's sister and Sur's best friend. Jordan was horrified at his new mentor's totalitarian methods, though Sinestro maintained that his iron-fisted rule was necessary to protect his people from the alien forces. During his training, Jordan helped Sinestro repel an attempted invasion of Korrigar by the alien warlords known as the Kuns. When Jordan called for help from the other Green Lanterns, Sinestro's dictatorship was exposed and he was forced to appear before the Guardians for punishment. Kat Matui, the leader of the Korrigarian resistance movement, who felt that Sinestro's protection kept her people from growing as a society through contact with other alien races, was recruited as his replacement in the Corps. Though Kat Matui eventually grew into one of the most respected Green Lanterns, she and the rest of Kurgar initially resisted her appointment to the Corps due to Sinestro's actions. Kurgar had come to consider the symbol of the Green Lantern Corps an emblem of terror and oppression. Eventually, Guy Gardner became Hal's backup as a Green Lantern, also serving in Sector 2814. Hal would later become a founding member of the Justice League and took it upon himself to assume the leadership role even though the group had secretly voted to make the Flash Barry Allen its team leader. Barry let Hal think he was leader due to their friendship and his unwillingness to contradict him until another team member revealed it to Hal. Hal eventually developed a strong friendship with fellow Justice League member Green Arrow. Beginning in Green Lantern number 76, Hal has teamed up with Oliver to tackle the social issues of the late 60s and early 70s. Dennis O'Neill devised an idea of portraying Hal Jordan effectively an intergalactic law enforcement officer as an establishment gradualist liberal figure against Oliver Queen, who O'Neill had characterized as a lusty outspoken anarchist who would stand in for the counterculture movement. The stories continued into the pages of Green Lantern, Green Arrow. In Green Lantern number 151, from April of 1982 until January 1984, Jordan is exiled into space for a year by the Guardians in order to prove his loyalty to the Green Lantern Corps, having been accused of paying too much attention to Earth when he had an entire sector of the cosmos to patrol. When he returns to Earth, he finds himself embroiled in a dispute with Carol Ferris, faced with a choice between love and the power ring 
Jordan resigns from the Corps. During an earthquake, Guy Gardner was hit by a bus while attempting to rescue one of his students. During his recovery, the Guardians recruited John Stewart to be Jordan's new backup. The Guardians then call Stewart to regular duty as his replacement. During the reign of the Superman storyline, Coast City had been completely destroyed by Cyborg Superman and Mongol. Returning to Earth after the events of Trinity, Green Lantern was horrified, and he immediately went after Mongol and beat the Galactic Conqueror in single combat. With everything he cherished, piles of cinder and ash, and after he and the Justice League built a memorial to those lost from the remains of the World Engine, Hal tried to use his ring to recreate Coast City completely, down to even creating constructs of the people who had lived there. This was a massive construct that required all of his ring's charge. A projection of the Guardians was sent to him, furious that he was using his powers for personal reasons, and threatening him unless he immediately reported back to them for disciplinary action. Enraged that they would ignore the personal loss he had suffered in the name of the Corps and try to punish him for his humanity, Hal, driven insane by grief, decided to meet them head on and clash with the men who had destroyed his life. One of the greatest secrets kept by the Guardians was that of the Yellow Impurity, which was an ancient monster named Parallax who they had imprisoned in their central power battery. Parallax was a physical embodiment of fear on the emotional electromagnetic spectrum, the opposite of the green willpower. Hal became susceptible to fear, and the monster gained root in his consciousness through his ring. Through influencing his actions, it would eventually possess him and turn him into one of the greatest villains the universe had ever seen. A team of Green Lantern Corps' greatest warriors were sent to stop him before he could reach Oa. Jordan single-handedly went through Bodica, General Creon, Graf Torn, Hanu, Jack T. Chance, Kehan, Lara, and Tomar too. He left all those he defeated floating in space and took their rings in his possession, adding them to his collection. It was assumed that he left them to die, however, it was later revealed that he had left them with just enough charge to protect them in the harsh conditions of space. Sinestro was released from his imprisonment to act as the last line of defense and Hal snapped his neck. It was later revealed this version of Sinestro was simply a construct by the Guardians themselves. Jordan then entered the central power battery and absorbed the energies inside, killing the Guardians and effectively destroying the entire Green Lantern Corps. He emerged in the new identity of Parallax. During his time as Parallax, Hal battled his former allies in the JLA, as well as his replacement and only Green Lantern left in the universe, Kyle Rayner, while attempting to restore Coast City. Parallax teamed with Extant, who was actually a future version of the hero Hawk from the duo of Hawk and Dove, who had absorbed the time-warping abilities of Wave Rider. Together, they planned to alter time as they saw fit, which became known as the Zero Hour Crossover Event, the purpose of which was to set things right. Hal was ultimately defeated by the heroes of Earth. Eventually, Hal began to gain lucidity and seek redemption for his crimes, healing the paralyzed Jon Stewart and resurrecting Oliver Queen, who had died in an explosion. He extinguished his powers and sacrificed himself to destroy the Sun Eater and reignite Earth's sun during the final night crossover event. During the Day of Judgment crossover event, the Spectre was without a host, and demons sought to use it to their advantage. With the help of the Sentinels of Magic, Hal became the new host for the Spectre. Hal attempted to bend the Spectre's mission from vengeance to redemption, using his powers to remove the Star Sapphire persona from Carol. However, the Spectre was the stronger of the two minds, and Hal had little success. The Spectre had alternate motives for attaching to Hal Jordan. He explained to Hal that the parasitic fear demon known as Parallax had taken him over while he was trapped by the Guardians in the central power battery, having been awoken and directed to Hal by Sinestro. Though Parallax was able to suppress Hal and take over the Spectre, Hal was able to fight off Parallax and separate both Parallax and the Spectre from his soul. Ganthet sent a beacon of light to guide Hal's soul back to his body, and Hal Jordan was reborn as the Green Lantern. Together with Kyle Rayner, Jon Stewart, Guy Gardner, and Kilowog, they defeated Sinestro, re-imprisoned Parallax in the Central Battery, and the Green Lantern Corps was reborn. Jordan then sought to atone for his actions as Parallax and became Green Lantern of Sector 2814 once again and rejoined the Justice League despite Batman's mistrust of him. During the War of Light, a story entitled Rage of the Red Lanterns, which takes place after the Sinestro Corps War, Sinestro kills Lara, the Green Lantern of Sector 112, who eventually became a Red Lantern after killing Amun Sur, the son of Abin Sur, who was a Yellow Lantern. Hal is overcome with rage, which attracts a red power ring, inducting him into the Red Lantern Corps. As a Red Lantern, Hal attacks both Sinestro Corps and the Blue Lanterns. 
Blue Lantern Saint Walker then forces his ring onto Hal in an attempt to free him from the Red Ring's influence. After this, he attacks Atrocitus, the leader of the Red Lanterns, which causes the Red Lantern ring to explode, leaving Atrocitus wounded and Hal wearing a green, blue lantern hybrid uniform and rings. Ganthet tells him this was never his intent to make him a Blue Lantern, but to become the leader of the Blue Lantern Corps as Green Lantern, reasoning that Hal's willpower would be strong enough to power the whole Blue Lantern Corps. Hal is then called back to Oa by the Guardians so that they can remove the Blue Ring themselves. The Guardians are unable to remove the Blue Ring, but continue to blast Hal with green energy in an attempt to destroy it. Hal eventually meets Lore Fleas, the only Orange Lantern in the universe, whose power comes from Avarice, otherwise known as Greed. Lore Fleas takes an interest in Hal's Blue Ring, and decides to take him underground to separate him from the rest of the Lanterns, and demands Hal give him the Blue Ring. Realizing that Laura Flea's ring must be constantly recharged by his own orange power battery to create his orange lanterns, Hal tries to steal the battery. While holding the battery, Hal falls under its influence. However, Laura Flea takes his battery back. During Blackest Night, Hal allows himself to be possessed by the fear entity once more in order to stop the Spectre who's become a Black Lantern. For those of you who don't know, the Black Lanterns are fueled by death and feed on emotion. Anyone who's ever died, even if they've been resurrected, is capable of becoming a Black Lantern. After finding out that Necron, who was the entity of the Black Lanterns, and Death itself was after the entity of the White Light, Hal discovers that the entity originated on Earth, not Oa as the Guardians said. Hal realizes that the entity needs a host, similar to Parallax and Ion. As Hal attempts to leave Parallax, Sinestro tells him it's his destiny to be the host, and not Hal. After Necron separates Sinestro from the entity, Hal bonds with it and uses its power to transform the resurrected heroes into White Lantern, dubbing them the White Lantern Corps. They defeat Necron. During War of the Green Lanterns, Hal, John, Guy, and Kyle all agree that removing Parallax from the central power battery is the only way to save the Corps. They also decide to use different rings, Hal taking the Sinestro Corps ring, Kyle taking the Blue Lantern ring, Guy taking the Red Lantern ring, and John taking an Indigo Tribe ring. Hal takes an extra ring, the orange one, and Guy takes the violet one to use the full power of the emotional spectrum to crack open the battery and release Parallax. After Hal killed the rogue guardian Krona, the other guardians believed Hal to be the most dangerous Green Lantern in the universe. Despite Gantt's attempt to defend him, Hal is discharged from the court and the Guardians take his ring and send him back to Earth. During DC's New 52, Hal becomes a Green Lantern again after Sinestro, who has been made a Green Lantern, gives him a ring and recruits him for a mission. It's during this time, the Book of the Black, which is a Black Lantern Book of Prophecies, reveals that Hal Jordan is destined to become the greatest Black Lantern. Hal later gets a new look as he goes rogue from the Green Lantern Corps in order to create a scapegoat for the Corps and be the focus of the universe's blame and distrust of everything that had taken place in recent issues, such as the Third Army's assault or Relic's attacks. The Corps itself, unaware of Jordan's intentions to show the universe that the Green Lanterns are not corrupt and will go after one of their own, believes that he has actually betrayed them when he attacks Kilowog. Along the way, Jordan steals a Green Lantern prototype gauntlet, which was used by Krona, and power pack from the armory, allowing him to continue to operate as a hero without the need for a powering. Although, he is sometimes required to fight other Lanterns to maintain the illusion of independence. In DC Rebirth, Hal returns as a Green Lantern again, now equipped with his self-constructed power ring, and merging with Will of Power itself, searching for the rest of the Green Lanterns and hunting down the Sinestro Corps, and returns to Earth temporarily to assign Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz the task of protecting Earth while he and the rest of the human Green Lanterns are away. He takes their power batteries and fuses them together into a single battery to help the two bond as Lantern partners. As a Green Lantern, Hal's powers include projecting hard light constructs, flight, and utilizing various other abilities through his power ring, which are only limited by his imagination and willpower. As Parallax, Hal was one of the most powerful beings in all of the DC Universe. In addition to his normal Green Lantern powers, he was able to manipulate and reconfigure time-space to his will. Manipulate reality at a large scale, had vast superhuman strength, which he demonstrated by being able to knock out Superman with one punch, a higher sense of awareness, and enhanced durability. As a Yellow Lantern, he has all the same powers as a Green Lantern, only rather than being fueled by will, it's actually fueled by fear. 
as a Red Lantern, fueled by the rage, he can perform the same tasks as a green and yellow power ring. However, Hal's blood is replaced by a form of corrosive, rage-energized blood. Hal can regurgitate this blood. The blood has the effect of bursting into flames of rage. The flames are so potent that they will burn even in space. The blood can melt through the constructs of other ring wielders, penetrate their personal force fields, and corrupt their rings, depleting their energy at an accelerated rate. The Red Ring's blood is one of the few known substances that can destroy a Black Lantern's core faster than even they can regenerate. Since the Red Ring completely takes over the circulatory process of the wearer, removing the heart of the Red Lantern only temporarily incapacitates them. A red power ring operates by expelling the blood of the wearer, replacing it with red light. As a result, removing a red lantern's ring will result in the wearer's death. However, a blue lantern's ring can reverse this process, freeing the wearer from the ring. The combined powers of blue and green rings can destroy a red ring. As an orange lantern, Hal's ring uses avarice energy, supplied by a power battery, which in most cases takes the form of orange light. An orange power ring, possibly one of the most powerful weapons in the known universe, has the ability to affect and use fundamental forces of the known universe, including electromagnetic energies such as gravity, radiation, heat, light, and powerful blasts of con concussive force. He can produce orange energy blasts, force fields, energy constructs, energy absorption, identity usurpation, energy avatar, and security protocol. However, an orange light wielder is susceptible to insatiable greed, hunger, as well as blue light and violet light. As a Blue Lantern, Hal is fueled by the emotion of hope. Blue Lanterns must be near an active Green Lantern's power ring to tap into their own ring's full power. Otherwise, the rings are only capable of the default abilities of flight and a protective aura. This is because the power of hope is nothing without the willpower to enact it. While under the influence of a nearby green power ring, a blue power ring has the same abilities as a green ring, plus some unique powers of its own. Blue lanterns can heal wounds and regenerate lost body parts. As a black lantern, Hal had the power of reanimation, healing, and regeneration, energy spectrum assimilation, aura recognition and infection, and is fueled by death and feeds on the emotional spectrum. As a White Lantern, which is fueled by light, he was a white energy conduit. He could dominate the emotional spectrum. White energy blasts, force field generation, energy constructs, environmental playback, flight, and create an energy twin, ring duplications, mind alteration, energy absorption, wormhole creation, limited cellular regeneration, electromagnetic scanning, xenolinguistics, material alteration, create an emergency beacon, homing beacon, invisibility, and light refraction time travel, phasing, thought relay, levitation, overriding rings of other colors, resurrection, and having a pocket dimension directly inside the ring itself. So there you have it geeks. On this episode of Green Lantern Explained, the history and origins of the greatest Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.